Hey, Nick, what are we talking about today? We're talking about the 1920s economy, Steve. The 1920s was a period of economic growth and business prosperity. The war was over. People were happy, and they were spending money. War veterans returned home to a whole new world, and they wanted a part of it. New products, technologies, and business techniques all contributed to the boom. For the first time, people flocked to the streets and had a modern-day social life. Although this was all true during the 20s, let's take a look at what was going on between 1920 and 1921. World War I ended. The demand for war supplies went way down. Returning troops were trying to re-enter the workplace, and America experienced a brief recession as they adjusted from a wartime economy to a peacetime economy. Labor unions did not play a big role in the 1920s. Although the war had helped unions, they faced many failures and setbacks during the 20s. An AF Laval craft union was created in 1919 for the steel industry. They demanded higher wages and better working conditions. When the U.S. Steel Company refused to cooperate, they called for a strike. Unfortunately, they were unsuccessful. That same year, mine workers went on strike as well, and they also lost. These two major losses, along with the short recession, led to a severe membership setback for labor unions. Although labor unions were struggling through the 20s, restaurants, businesses, and production was booming. The introduction to credit and the saying, buy now and pay later, caused one of the largest surges in consumer spending of all time. People could now buy big ticket items and pay for them slowly over a long period of time. The rich during this time period treated themselves to fancy homes and apartments, valuable antiques, and big ticket items. Although things like cars, fridges, vacuums, and washing machines that were once only a luxury to the rich were now becoming household items, cars especially. People bought cars like there was no tomorrow. This huge boom in the industry can be thanks to the assembly line introduced by Henry Ford and true ability to buy on credit. With the boom of cars came the boom of construction. Huge road construction projects began in the 20s to accommodate all of the cars. Also, the production and building of skyscrapers began throughout all major cities in the U.S. An iconic one of the era includes the Chrysler Building in New York City. Stock market climbed to great heights. Many people began to buy stocks on margin. This led to a problem in 1929. The stock market crashed. People didn't have the money to pay back brokers, and brokers didn't have the money to pay back loans. People rushed to sell stocks for as much money as possible. This caused the market to drop even further. People bought stocks with the money they didn't have and came back to bite them. 1929 marked the beginning of the greatest depression the world had ever seen, and the end of the Roaring Twenties. As you can see, the 1920s economy affected the nation positively and negatively. The nation learned from its mistakes of not supervising banks and their money by passing new legislation. The time period showed the consequences of a careless government and population. Today, we as Americans can look back at the 1920s as a prosperous time, yet a time of disaster. As we look back upon the time period, we can consider the resiliency of the nation as its success prevailed through the toughest of times.